I'd like to map a home folder directory for my users so they can save their data into that home folder instead of on their local computer. And I'm going to do this using Active Directory in Windows Server 2019. So I'm going to double click on my user and then go to Profile. And what this does is it allows us to map a folder without having to be an expert programmer. So I'm going to go to where it says Connect. And now it's going to give me a drive letter option. I'm just going to choose the H drive just because it's easier for home directory to be called H. And before I put in my path, I've got to create a shared folder. So I'm going to go to my C drive and I need to create a folder that's going to be this person's home directory. Now I can put it inside a folder or just create a new folder or whatever it is I'd like to do. I'm just going to create a new folder, but you can create whatever path you would like. And I'll call it admin1. And then I'm going to right click and go to properties. And then I'm going to click on sharing. Now I'm going to click share and I'm going to put in the name of the person that I want to share this with. So I'm going to put in admin1, click add, and give admin1 the read write permissions, which are the same as uh, full permissions basically. I'm going to leave administrator in there as owner, which is fine, and click share. And done. And close. So now let's take a look at the share path. So if I put in backslash backslash in the name of the server, hit enter, and I can see my admin one share. Now I need to copy that share. So I just click in the address bar and it shows me my path. So I'll copy that share and I will paste it in and click apply. And here it's just giving me a warning that make sure, because it's in the root of the C drive, that you make sure that you have rights to it, which I do. So I'm going to click OK. So as I said, you don't have to put it in the root. You can put it in any other subfolder if you'd like as well. Now I'm going to see what the effects of this were. And I'm logging into my Windows 10 computer as admin1. And it can be a virtual machine or physical. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to click on File Explorer and click on this PC. And look at that. It went ahead and mapped that path, that admin one path to the DC one server. And it shows me how much space I have and I can double click on it. And of course there's nothing in it because I just created it as an empty folder. So that's how you create a home folder directory mapped to a Windows 10 computer.